Hello viewers, welcome to Great Joy channel. In this video, I am going to explain how to add your computer, either laptop or desktop, into your domain, into a specific OU. So, using PowerShell, we can write uh, coding to achieve that. Uh, let me write the code. So I have four options to select sales, finance, admin and IT. There are four different OUs I have and then I am reading the option. I am reading that option into an variable. OPT and I'm setting a boolean value so I'm just validating whether the option is equal to 1 1 then my OU is equal to I need to type here OU equal to computer and uh, OU is equal to sales that is the option 1 if the option 1 is selected then the computer should be added to the sales OU So now the option the OU has been selected. So I change the validator to I set the validator to true. True. So up to this if statement for the interest of time I just paste it so sales already I have added so I am just adding for the rest of the OUs And for option 3, option 2 is finance and option 3 is admin. So I'm just overwriting the existing one. And for if it is option 4, then the system should be added to the ITOU. So now I have selected the OUs. I am just validating now. If validate is equal to false, then then it is an invalid input 
otherwise otherwise it should add the machine to the domain of specific OU this is the command to add the computer and the domain name so the intelligence will work automatically so you can select from that option and the domain name you can choose and it will ask the credential so who has the admin access the person should provide the credential and the OU path already we have selected in the above if statements so that OU will substitute you here once the machine added to the domain it will reboot the system so just from displaying the message and then restart the computer so that's all the PowerShell script I'm just writing I'm displaying the menu to select the OU and first option one is sales two is finance three admin four is IT whatever the option selected based on that the OU will be uh, selected and that will be stored into the uh, OU variable if the options are not match between 1 to 4 then it will display invalid input otherwise it will display the system name which is going to be added to the domain and then add that computer to the specific domain and then reboot the system so you can save this into here specific folder I am having one folder domain join and just uh, giving the file name add, add OU dot ps1 I saved as ps1 extension for PowerShell one more thing is in some of the systems the PowerShell execution will be stopped so in that case we need to enable it for that I am creating a separate batch file to bypass the execution policy so I'm putting the computer and the path name I saved it in the desktop so I just simply give the folder name so wherever you saved the file you can give that add ou.ps1 so I'm just saving this into add domain dot batch file so once you execute the batch file as an administrator that will execute the ps1 PowerShell script whatever you saved with the name by bypassing the execution policy of PowerShell thank you for watching the video please subscribe the channel thank you